Well, the hyperfloor process is a process where we are grinding the floor to a certain amount of exposure. So whether you choose to have a minimal amount of exposure or a large amount of exposure where you can see all the stone, and after that we're honing and making sure the floor is nice and flat, and then we're going through a process of densification, which is hardening the floor, uh, and then going through a process of polishing the floor up to a desired level of gloss. Uh, and then at the end of that, we were putting um, a sealer on it. Now, we're not putting a sealer that actually sits on top of the surface. We're putting an impregnating sealer that actually seeps in. So it's not like a coating like an epoxy or a resin or something like that. The hyperfloor system is designed to have a natural look and to last considerably longer than any other coated style of floor. As far as the work that we do on site, um, you know, it starts at a process of, uh, it starts with a process of um, basically uh, grinding the surface and ensuring that you've got um, the amount of exposure uh, that you'd like in the floor, then honing the surface, so getting it smooth, removing the, uh, the uh, scratch marks, the, the pattern that comes from the machine, um, and then grouting and filling the small holes and cracks in the surface with a, uh, with a chemical that, that bonds to the concrete, and you get a very good colour match as well, so part of that process is making sure that they're filled and they're not sort of, uh, you know, visible uh, yeah, as much as they would normally be at the end of the job. Uh, then hardening the surface, really important. This is the key to the hyperfloor process, is getting enough of these chemicals that, that, that essentially harden the surface into the concrete, uh, and then polishing the surface after that. So we remove the excess hardener and uh, condition the surface so that it's polished. And we achieve a very, very high gloss, or even a matte finish if you want to, using um, a polishing process rather than uh, you know, rolling down a coat or something like that. So as you can imagine, there's a few steps there, so it's quite, uh, quite labour intensive.